Hi, I'm Martin Zeller, and you can come and see me in Jim Beam's back room. And I swore I'd hold off until I wasn't such a mess, but I was worn down by too much loneliness. I guess I know. I'm always flattered because usually when I've read myself described or I'm usually described, it's always like a described as a hybrid, like uh, Hank Williams meets the replacement or something. But no one has ever said, you know, he sounds like X. So it's usually, but I guess uh, for lack of a better term, it's singer songwriter Americana. First record will. About a 45 of uh, Falls from Prison Blues, or fall, and uh, B-side was Boy Named Sue. And uh, first concert, first two concerts I went to were Sha Na Na, and then Sha Na Na. And then I went to Blue Oyster Cult. Growing up in Austin, Minnesota, it's like Minneapolis might as well have been Bangkok. Because just you know, there wasn't, there was uh, only one place to buy music, and that was like a J.C. Penny. And like I said, there's the two radio stations, the top forty in the country. So it's like, and the and the mainstream press wasn't covering like the replacements and Who's Cru and all the great bands at that time. So it's like, I had never heard of any of them until I moved to Minneapolis, and then it just kind of hit me really hard. It was just. Uh, changed me completely going out and seeing like early Husker Du and early replacement shows and suburbs and there's a band called The Flame you know and it's like that's what really made me want to be a writer you know I've seen bands doing their own music because up to that point I had written in my bedroom but if you know I mostly played in cover bands The Gear Daddies recorded uh, one song at Paisley Park and Prince is legendary for putting off a vibe that you just don't approach him, you don't bother him and we were out in the hall having a cigarette like between songs and all of a sudden he came like hustling down the hall and he's like just beelines and he looks straight down the floor, everything about his body language just says you know don't bother me and our guitar player at the time, Randy from the Gear Days, just didn't pick up on that at all and, and, and started to try to talk to him. But he's so that's as close as I've come to meet him. Didn't actually meet him, but got to in a one way conversation. I think he's a great pop songwriter, a, a, an amazing pop songwriter. And it's like, and I also think he, you know, he's a entertaining in other ways so it started out as a lark i mean we just we just put together a neil diamond like cover thing and did it once and thought that would be it and it just was incredibly popular so okay and it's i'm still having fun doing it on the side so i mean i guess if i could you know resurrect the replacements and who's could do and a lot of those early Minneapolis bands would be great, but I'm still a big fan of Paul Westberg and Bob Mould. And, um, I guess that would be that would be my I, ideal like, festival is to put together a lot of those early Minneapolis bands, just a lot of Minneapolis artists. 